But yeah, it's one of these things where I keep on like sitting down and being like, oh my goodness, I know a lot about computer science. The best thing about the Cambridge course is that it's kind of trying to teach you to think critically and analytically. It's ridiculous how many topics it covers and in each of them topics how deep you go and how much you learn. Before I came to Cambridge I had barely an experience in programming languages and it was quite intimidating. Now almost through my second year of the course we've kind of moved on beyond specific programming languages and actually talking about like the concepts behind them. Yeah so I've had a quite an amazing experience. I think in first year you start very well, you know, you start with fundamentals. In the second year you can specialise a bit, but you continue on the fundamentals and you, um, you have some practicals as well, so you learn to implement the things you've learned. And it's the idea of like all these courses kind of form this nice framework. You're able to then link courses together and then really think about the ideas and why you're learning them. And I think overall it makes you quite a well-rounded computer scientist in the end very nice and structured which works quite well because it means that I can do a lot of extracurriculars and I can fit them all in so that works really nicely. For me I think my favourite course this year has been formal models of languages because I'm very interested in learning languages so it's kind of cool to see how languages and computer science can interact to create something new. I personally really like uh, math so I like all the subjects that involve math so for, for example complexity theory, uh, logic and proof uh, and so on. The lab is quite a nice environment. It's got quite a few different places that you can sort of set. There's places to eat lunch, there's places to work. Um, the actual lab space itself is like quite a lot of computers and stuff, so if you don't have a laptop, that's quite handy. Yeah, I, th I think the lab is a really good social environment, as well as for work. Oh. <laughs> The ridiculous breadth in which this course covers is crazy and I absolutely love it. Like, if there's any part of computer science you're interested in, you can guarantee that it will be covered at some point in the first two years and then in the third year you can go into more depth in it. Yeah, so another thing about the course is that lots of the... We cover lots of modules over the three years and some of them really dip into other disciplines, aspects of, you know, physics with some of the electronics or just general engineering disciplines. We have courses like um, concurrent distributed systems or computer design where you're learning about like real world practical uses of computers and like how to be solved certain problems and how, how is it done in industry and stuff like that. So I think the most, the most exciting thing for me was that it's very fundamental in a sense that you learn a lot of stuff from the ground up and it gives you a very good base from when you then go on to do practical stuff. Yeah, I think I think the practicals are they're very they're very good and fun as well because um, they show you different side of stuff and they show how all the theory you've learned you've learned actually you know, comes to life in practice. They're like little programming challenges or little hardware challenges um, in which you kind of try and complete some tasks, and, you know, and get them ticked off. They they're quite a lot of fun to do. And then we also have like the kind of courses like economics, law and ethics, like we learn about um, basic economics and then we learn a bit about, about like the law specifically relating to like computer science. Talking about I guess for example GDPR, the ethics of artificial intelligence, so you're not just doing theoretical computer science but looking at an overall context. It's so interesting like a lot of computer science courses won't have an entire module and that sort of thing. I think the things that we learned we can translate very easily to other to other domains of knowledge and in particular it helped me throughout my internship. The college system is great because you have the peers of like your own subject in your own year that you get to be quite close to but you also get to mix in with all the other subjects which gives you a really good perspective on like what other people are doing and what other people are passionate about. Yeah so since I'm in my third year I have to do a dissertation so you pick a project and you have to do a bit of research on it and I decided to prove some properties about internet routing and furthermore to implement those properties in a programming language called Agda. It was fun. <laughs> I think I applied to Cambridge predominantly for the purpose of supervisions because I quite like as asking questions and um, building on each other's ideas. I love supervisions. Um, I'm a really big fan of supervisions. I would like to think that I'm quite good at supervisions in terms of I don't necessarily come off as very clever in them, but that's not the point. Supervisions aren't a test. They're not 
Um, then it's not like a class or like a lesson where the teacher is like judging you depending on like trying to see how good you are. It's very much they are there solely to help you. This is just the integer, yeah, right? Like, you know, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In which you can read it out as all objects. Who's either a PhD student or a lecturer or a professor or whatever, but like an expert in the field you're being supervised on. Since you have, you literally have an hour with an expert in the field who is passionate about it and who knows a lot about it and is very willing to explain it to you. Uh, I think one of the most fun parts of the course that I've had so far was the group projects because it was quite refreshing to take a break from learning theory, which is quite cool in itself, but to then implement all of the things that you've learned into a proper project um, with a proper client. So I was working on VR avatar, which included creating a digital identity, so creating a version of you in in virtual reality and that was really exciting because I got to touch a lot of technology which I'd never used before. It's kind of looking at like how we'd actually design a system for in, for use in like society rather than just a cool project. But you're actually making it for real people. Well, while in Cambridge we are learning uh, more about the theory and more about the foundation and more about how to think about problems and so this is really useful and we will use it for the rest of our life.